welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show here. <laughs> Studio 6A, New York City. Thank you, Roots. Uh, let's get to the news and jokes. Well, guys, as of this afternoon, some states are still counting their votes, but the numbers are looking good for Joe Biden. Yep, it seems like America... <laughs> Seems like America is just about ready to socially distance from President Trump. Uh. Yeah, but as more votes came in today, the coronavirus put on its hat and coat and thought, well, it's been a good run. Good day to you all. That's right. As of now, it's looking like the GOP strategy of hope no one notices the global pandemic didn't turn out so well. At this very moment, Biden is smiling from ear to ear. At least I think he is. It's hard to tell since he's wearing a mask. You should wear them. You can tell Biden is feeling good, though. He spent most of the day putting the finishing screw ups on his acceptance speech. <laughs> Later, Biden was seen swigging ocean spray while hanging off the back of an Amtrak train. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Was he drinking while singing? I don't know what he was. Oh, he's going so fast that there's no liquid. Right, exactly. It's a lot of space work, but trust me, it makes sense. Uh, here's how confident Biden is feeling. He just called Trump to say, hey, that crap about Hunter's laptop? All true. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah, the only people happier than Biden's staff is Trump's. Oh, thank God, it's almost over. Thank goodness. Gosh, that was a long for you. I'm not saying Trump is in trouble, but he was just sent straight to voicemail by the My Pillow guy. <laughs> but this is nice. Trump's inner circle is trying to cheer him up. They're like, uh, yes, you may be the losing the White House, but on the bright side, you can now focus on that cool billion you owe. <laughs> Meanwhile, Eric Trump was like, if Biden is president, does that mean he's my new dad? Yep, nothing is definite, but the outcome feels pretty inevitable right now. Vladimir Putin is like, oh, well, you rig some, you lose some. <laughs> you rig some, you lose some. Uh. Trending on Twitter right now. That's right, things are looking pretty good for Biden, but we're still waiting for a final call because a few swing states are still counting votes. Seriously, this is getting crazy. It's like we're living through that dramatic pause before they give out a rose on the bachelorette. <laughs> But for two full days. You're like, okay. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Will you accept? <laughs> At this point, Americans are like, let's go. We've got no things to do and no people to see. <laughs> I heard Zogs laugh. I, that's... Uh, but this is interesting. I heard that each ballot is processed by two volunteers, one Democrat and one Republican. And if they fall in love, they star in a Hallmark movie called Count on Love. <laughs> Imagine being a ballot counter, though. You're stuck inside a room full of people during a global pandemic, paper cuts all over your hands, and the rest of the country's like, what the hell's taking so long? I don't hear any count in there, Gretchen. <laughs> Gretchen. It would be a question. It feels like, right? You could tell Trump's starting to panic about the results because this morning he tweeted, Stop the count. In response, the count from Sesame Street tweeted, You've lost one, two, three swing states. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> then a little later in the day, Trump also tweeted, Stop the fraud. Yeah, stop the count, then stop the fraud. Soon he's going to tell us to stop, collaborate, and listen. <laughs> what, what, what I was trying to do his dance move, but I, does he have it? Oh it yeah, it was. It was a lot of, a lot of necky, a lot of like, a lot of like chain fly. <laughs> you skipping rope. I'm skipping rope, but still, it's just <laughs> another move. Wait, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I'm double dutching. I'm double dutching. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Sorry, Vanilla. I'm sorry. But he's uh, not just tweeting. Trump's campaign started uh, taking legal action yesterday. Check it out. Legal challenges are already underway. The Trump campaign has filed lawsuits in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Georgia, and the campaign is pursuing a recount of the vote in Wisconsin. 
You know you're in trouble when your master plan starts with, uh, get me Rudy Giuliani on the phone. <laughs> yeah, as we speak, Trump is assembling a dream team of lawyers who all claim they were tucking in their shirts. <laughs> of course, of course he's suing. I get the feeling when Trump didn't get the Christmas gift he wanted as a kid, he was like, better lawyer up, Nana. <laughs> better lawyer up, Nana. Trending on Twitter, that's a good one. Better lawyer up, Nana. <laughs> Meanwhile, I read that Trump is upset that Fox News called Arizona for Biden on election night. Yesterday, Trump supporters came to his defense. Listen to this. And they're actually chanting, Fox News sucks. Fox News sucks. Yeah. Trump supporters were like, we only trust one real news outlet, Facebook memes. <laughs> You can tell everyone is on edge. Sean Hannity just had an unscalable wall built around his studio. <laughs> is D Shay? D Shay revolves it? Yep. It's D Shay, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was a really loud yep from Mark. How do you, how do you <laughs> do that? The rest of the roots just looked at me and Mark goes, yep. That's <laughs> right, it's D Shay. Check out the hook while DJ revolves. Oh my God! <laughs> Yo, I never. I thought he said DJ. Ah, no, 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 no. I thought it was check out the hook while my DJ. But yeah. No, you, you DJ, think yeah. you think that? Yeah, one you know, would think. One would. Yeah. And one wouldn't, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you rig some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Better lawyer up, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and here's something you don't hear every day. A, a man was banned from Yellowstone National Park for trying to fry chickens in the hot spring. <laughs> you see, these are the stories we can focus on during a Biden presidency. Yeah. That's right. Fried chickens in the hot spring. I, I'm too lazy to microwave a lean cuisine. This guy goes to Wyoming to cook a 12-piece. Here's a big business story. The owner of Arby's and Buffalo Wild Wings is buying Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins. Wow, they now have a monopoly on clogged arteries. <laughs> Here's the plan. Dunkin' for breakfast, Arby's for lunch, Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner, Baskin Robbins for dessert. Then you drop your kids back off at their mother's house. <laughs> I'm dating again, Susan. <laughs> And finally, a car in Wisconsin was just pulled over for a pretty interesting reason. Watch this. A state trooper had pulled over a driver who thought it was a good idea to strap a snowmobile to the top of his car. The 23-year-old driver explained that it, quote, looked sketchy, but said that he strapped it down and he shook it to make sure it was secure. Yeah. In his defense, that's how every New Yorker installs an air conditioner. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's going